guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw one of these cute little cats up here. Now, sorry I didn't post this video on Friday. We had a few technical issues. Like, this video did get deleted once or twice. So anyway, first thing you're going to need is the, a pencil. If it's anything, like, I don't think it's that big, but it's a grade F pencil or a HB pencil will work just as fine. Really, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be buying expensive pencils just to make the drawing. So anyway, I forgot to mention you also need a piece of paper. So, first thing you're going to need to do is draw two circles. Try to get them the exact same. But if they're not, it doesn't matter. Okay, once you've drawn those two circles, outline them. Make them really, like, really dark. And use the point of the pencil. Don't use the side of the pencil. So, this is the two circles done. Next, what you're going to need to do is shade them. I'll show you what they're like. What you're supposed to shade it for. Anyway, shade on the side of your pencil, not on the top because you want it to be really light. Don't shade it all in, leaves a bit like that, okay? So shade it in like this. Once you're done, it should look like this. If you want to, I'm not really sure. Some of it looks nice on it, some of it doesn't. You leave like a dark line going around the white part. I don't have to, I used to do, I don't really do it that much because most of it, it doesn't look too nice. So anyway, next we're going to be doing the mouth and whiskers. So the whiskers is practically a three on its uh, side. Or else like an upside down mustache. Or an upside down M, whichever you want to call it. So that's what it is. And next, for the uh, for the whiskers, there's just two little dashes, like so. Okay. So once you've done that, um, next what you need to do is draw a shape like this. Draw, draw the ears. Sorry about that. Like these ear things. It may not look like it, but it is so. Then once you've done that, you start at this at the point here. And you just draw around it. The ears should be a bit more rounder, like that, but I didn't do a great job on this one. And I do this sometimes, a little triangle on the ears. Another thing you could do is, instead of doing it, drawing all the way around, is you could just do little dashes like that to draw. But anyway... So, if you want to do a body, you could leave it like this. It's perfectly fine like that. I started off by just practicing on heads. So then, next thing what you do is you draw um, a line down like this. And do a little curve here. In...
So it's like that. I probably should have moved mine a bit over. But anyway. So if you want to draw it sitting, you draw it like this. So there is it sitting. For standing, once you've done the kind of sitting position like that, once you've done the kind of sitting position like that, instead of doing this part, um, just come out here like this. You have the legs out like that. Um, so then you put your, then you put a tail out like this. And there you go. So you know the face for this. It can be used on dogs, hamsters, even a duck. So I'm going to draw a few of them out and I'll show you what they look like then. These are a couple of the things I did. Uh, the cat I showed you how to draw, the dog, the dog, and a little pig. Now, these are pretty simple to do. For the eyes, you just, the eyes stay for each of them. It's like a special feature of them. Um, for most of them, like, the, if you put in a nose, like, for the pig, you leave out a mouth. You leave out a nose, uh, for cats, you leave out a mouth and ducks, they don't have a nose, you just give them a beak. So anyways, most of these, you could draw, draw them for any animal. And it's pretty simple to do. You could come up with your own ideas. And whatever you do, um, please put what you did in the comments. Thanks for watching. I apologize again. For this being so late and anyways please like and subscribe oh yeah and post what videos you want in the comments I'd love we'd love to know